this is the Tominator, and I'm here in Spain in the beautiful town or city of Valencia. Absolutely superb. It's it's summer here. There, Rowan. There, Rowan. Twenty kilometre rise, one thousand metres of climbing. All the ingredients of a hot day. Keep going, son. Day five of the bike style tours, La Vuelta Odyssey, and we're off. Well, the sun's pretty low. The temperatures are mild. Blue Steel, happy birthday. We won't tell them how old you are, but it's quite a significant age, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're loving life at the moment. I'm riding, it's great. <laughs> Feels good, I've been reborn. So far it's been okay, yeah. Good man. This is my view, this is my office. The Sierra Nevada mountain range. It's in the south of Spain, it's massive. I'm on one of the highest climbs in Spain. What do you um, make of all this? Very similar to the Bruce Highway, uh, <laughs> just outside of Brisbane. I'm two k's from the top, and this is the road that the riders in the Vuelta will tackle today in the Queen Stage. There's a satellite tower at the top. And the Spaniards, they climb up here on their bikes, and they walk up here, proud. Hola. Down below, the valley. Now I'm on a e-bike, but there's no way in hell I would be able to make it up this climb on a conventional bike. And the accommodation on a bike style tours is very comfortable. Four star accommodation. We're staying at the Hotel Andalusia here in Granada. It's very comfortable. And the breakfasts, they're huge. Just what a bike rider needs for a big day out. And look at the roads here around Granada. They're very quiet. And that's the beauty about riding a bike around these parts, you feel safe. And apart from that, the motorists here are so respectful towards the cyclists. And uh, you don't have to worry about the cars because there are few and far in between in this loop that we're doing around Granada. Um, but what you do see in the countryside is olive trees. Everywhere, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Spain produces one third of the world's olive oil. It just makes for some beautiful scenery. Andale, andale. Andale. You can tell the tour will be coming through uh, this or their patch of ground because the roads, have a look at them. Freshly sealed, not a mark on the road. This bitumen, I'm sure, has only just been laid down ready for the Grand Tour de la Vuelta to come through. They love their cycling, so do I, so do we. And that's why we punish ourselves on these hills. Go you legend. It's only 20% Belinda. Bike Styles puts on an absolutely incredible tour. So I would really encourage um, more female riders um, to, to look at doing this sort of tour. Come on in. Well done, you've reached the top. It's only not too hard for, for anybody. It's um, it's perfectly catered for whatever level you're at. Every little aspect is taken care of. The quality of the bus, the trailer, the drivers, the people, the guides. This time we had the uh, added benefit of Mike Tomolaris traveling with us and um, his stories from his time in the media. And um, his Tour de France memories. So, yeah, it's all just been great unbelievably beyond expectation uh, experience riding around with uh, the Vuelta and experiencing Spain and the culture, the history. 
food, the drinks and uh, the friendship. I just can't recommend this tour highly enough to, to everybody. It is absolutely for everyone.